All right, hi guys, and welcome to the video tutorial for Freak of Nature. It's part of the Photoshop Operations module on bbtmb.com. Uh, this site right here, pixlr.com, p-i-x-l-r.com, is a free online Photoshop, and you should take advantage of it as long as it exists. Um, you come to the site, this is what you're greeted with. You can either click on the Pixlr editor right there, or you can click on the advanced editor right here, and I will do that now. What you're going to do for Freak of Nature is find two animals that already exist on Earth, two or more animals, and combine them into a completely new realistic animal. The way I did this was I went to creativecommons.org, creativecommons.org, which allows you to search for free, usable education pictures, and I found a picture of a polar bear and a cat. So what I'll do right now is I will pull in the cat and the polar bear, and let's see if I have it. There's a cat and I will pull in now the polar bear open image I believe I called this polar one it's gotta be here somewhere polar there we go okay so I have two distinct animals here and my mission is to cut the cat's face out and put it on the polar bear's body freak of nature combines parts of certain animals into a new animal altogether so I guess mine's going to be a polar cat um, or, or some sort of uh, bear cat or create creation like that. So what you do, here's how simple it is. You go to the cat, because I want to take its head and put it on the polar bear. Take your lasso just like a cowboy would and circle the cat's head. Doesn't matter how much garbage you get around the cat's head. You want to get as much of the cat's head as possible and give yourself some neck there too to work with. It's as simple as going up under edit copy, going to the polar bear and going edit paste. You may have to play that back again if I went too fast. Edit, copy, edit, paste. In comes our cat head. You'll notice that the cat's head is too large, and it also still has the stuff around it. The next uh, part of the hat trick here, I went edit, copy, I went edit, paste. The next part of the hat trick is edit, free transform. And that gives you little grips on your photos that appear here. Uh, nubbies or grips or little, little things that you can grab onto. And watch this. By grabbing them, you can shrink the cat's head into the dimensions that you feel are correct for this picture. So what I would do is I'd make the cat's head roughly the size that I want it to be. I would then approve that change and move with my pointer the cat's head into the position that I like. So let's cover up the polar bear altogether here. Let's try to get his full body covered. Okay, the last step, uh, you have the cat's head on top of the polar bear. You want to erase some of the cat's layer because it is like a pizza. The cat is the cheese, and the polar bear picture is the crust. So when we go to our eraser tool right here, we should be able to erase the cat photo, and in behind, our polar bear will remain intact. So you can see I'm going to have a problem there because I have the polar bear's ear sticking out, so I'm going to have to fix that in the future. But you see when I erase the cat picture, in behind, I'm left with the rock that was behind the polar bear. So I'll come down very carefully. You can always zoom in. You can go zoom in. On this Pixar site you just click zoom in and to zoom out you hold down shift, hold down shift, and zoom back out. So you can zoom in and zoom out to get better at your erasing. And now that we have a better picture of where the cat's head actually fits, you can try to solve this problem by going again edit free transform. And Let's blow this cat's head up a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Of course, I will now go back to my eraser, after I approve, go back to my eraser, shave off a little more of the cat's body here, just a little bit more, maybe like this, try to blur that line of where the cat meets polar bear, just a little bit, there we go, and let's zoom out and see my final creation. There we go, I have now created what looks like a giant uh, polar bear cat. Again, you can get a little tricky with the opacity of your eraser. You can change the opacity right here from 100, which means strong, to very thin. So I can drop that down to thin. And what it will do is blur the edge between the cat and the polar bear. It's not as thick an eraser. So you can see it starts to make the cat look very much realistic, uh, merged with the polar bear. You want to get two animals of the same size. If your brush size is too big, your eraser, you can always change it up here. Different styles, shapes, and sizes. And that is how you do Freak of Nature. You bring two or more pictures into one, trying to make them look as realistic as possible when they are done.
I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to make a polar cap.